and you can see that I just saved the bee from the, the Asian Hornet. Um, we get them here, we've got quite a few. We do spring trapping, which seems to have a major effect. And we also do a thing where we, which is quite controversial and topical, but we do a thing where we do uh, trap and release. We basically mix up a very small amount of um, a chemical, which is a poison, uh, it's an insecticide that is a long lasting one. It's the same stuff you put on cats and dogs. And it's the way that a lot of people are going now because they're realizing that, that actually hunting down and tracking down nests in the summer is virtually impossible. So what you do is you pin down the Asian Hornet, you mix up, before obviously, you mix up a very thick custard-like material of um, uh, an egg yolk with this, this uh, chemical in it, and then basically you paint it on the thorax of the Asian Hornet, and then they go back to the nest and they clean off the egg, which is actually a protein, and they want to do that, they want to use it. So you can see another Hornet here, there's a few around, but I've got not many, so I'm not particularly worried at the moment. And then they then in turn take back this to their nest and um, see so he's got one there and he's dropped it and she's dropped it. They then in turn take it back to their nest and poison the nest and it's very effective. But it takes a day's work but it's better to have a day's work to kill a nest off than it is to have to spend weeks and weeks tracking it down and with a lot of people. One person can take out a whole area very easily of Asian hornets. You can see this one pretty easy. They're pretty they're pretty interesting, but the, the interesting thing is as well um, about all this and about Asian Hornets is we've had them now for five years and every now and again you think it's a nightmare and then suddenly it's not. It, it's In the UK, if you ever get them, I don't think you're gonna have a major problem. You, you just deal with it. A couple of things to discuss as well is, um, uh, and it's really not the time to do it, but why not? The thing is, if you don't destroy a nest with a tiny bit of poison, on the back of the Asian Hornet. If you imagine the amount of insects lost to the environment because of that Asian Hornet nest becoming mature, there's all the other insects such as bats, swallows, anything else that, 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 um, that uses insects to live off. So anything like small spiders that are eaten by birds or um, mosquitoes that are eaten by birds or stuff like that. Asian hornets predate everything. They're not just predating bees. They predate, they predate pollinators and small insects. They take spiders out of webs. They do, they take a huge amount of stuff and the, the volume of, the volume of insects they collect is in the tons per nest after a full nest has developed. It's incredible. So if there's people out there saying, oh, you shouldn't put poison into the environment by putting poison on the back of a hornet and then killing it, I don't see an argument against it because the benefits are so enormous. You're treating one insect and you're being so specific, you're taking out that nest. The issue is if you do get that poison back to the nest and kill the nest, there may be a tiny bit of insecticide in that nest as the, winter, as the nest dies over the autumn. But surely that's a lot better to have that tiny amount than it is to have all those insects lost to um, lost to the Asian, lost to the environment, sorry. So you can see that this one isn't being that successful. You could spend hours swatting them, but you, you haven't got time to do that. You haven't got time to spend hours swatting Asian hornets. You, you turn up, you do it um, methodically. You, you could spend ages, you can put traps out in the spring are the best thing, to be honest, because you get all the founding queens and you can get a lot of them. And I've seen no evidence to say that by doing that, you stop and you kill many of the common hornets. We still got loads of common hornets. I'll probably be able to film one in a minute. We still got plenty taking bees here. But you can see there's Asian hornets around. They're not that clever. They're not that smart, these ones. These don't seem to be very um, prolific. They're not taking many bees here. That one here, I've been watching it since I've been talking to you and it hasn't taken a single bee yet. So, you know, it's like, if they get bad, you treat them. If they don't, well, you just keep the colony strong. It's not that difficult. The other thing is these doors, okay? If you look at this green door, this green door is a 5.5 mil and above to allow the bees in, but not the Asian hornet. So if they ever get too strong, the bees can defend the colony. But my also thinking is, like others, is the problem is when the bees are concentrated to a small hole like this, it's actually not very good because they're easier targets for the bees. It's better if you have the, the normal mouse guards for the winter because they seem to offer the bees more choice of exit and entry and it catches the Asian Hornet out more. 
One of the other things is also leaving the grass long in front of the colony, so the Asian hornet has to hunt around the grass and your bees have more of, a, of an escape route. There's no doubt they're a complete and utter pain in the arse and they are definitely what we do not want. But the thing is, they're here, they're going to stay, we're never ever going to get rid of them and we've got to learn to live with them and learn to just accept the fact they're going to keep coming and going. Jersey has spent a huge amount of time and a lot of beekeepers in the UK um, have been following Jersey because they're worried about or they're, they're using their example to see how they can track them down and they've done fantastic work in locating nests and the majority of people who have done it are volunteers who've given their own time and they're now up to like the 30th nest, 30th adult Asian hornet nest that has been tracked down. Now my thoughts on this are well that's terrific and you've done a huge amount of work but if you did the poison trap and release thing you'd save everyone a huge amount of work and huge amount of resources. It is never ending and, and the problem is in Jersey is with their location to the French coast which the French coast is basically unmanaged there's there's more horn generally there's more Asian hornets there uh, and in this environment than there is in Jersey and they will constantly be reinfected from Jersey so they have to change their tactics because as I said right at the start of all this if you see one of my videos I did about the Asian hornet and making bottle traps the thing is they're going to be here anyway we just have to learn to live with them and accept the facts I, I mean I know several people who've who've been keeping an eye on things further down the south of France. We've only had them here for like five years now, where other people have had them for an awful lot longer, right since 14, was it 12 years ago when they first came into the Gironde. And they're still keeping bees down there. I've said this all along. You just have to get on with it and, and be dynamic and think of it outside the box. You cannot let things get you down. You know, you have to just move on. They're a pain in the backside, but you have to do different tactics. And when they get too many at an apiary, then you go in and treat with the spot treatment and then the nest dies overnight the nest will disappear and within a few days there'll hardly be any at all from that but you might have two nests you might have to do it two or three times but you will get rid of them just my thoughts um, i know i don't represent anybody but this is what i find being a beekeeper here in france and i'm just showing my thoughts on it but there's nothing more to say than the fact that all these people have come up with radical ideas and radical new traps that are going to do this and do that. You only trap a lot of Asian hornets if you have a lot of Asian hornets to trap. So those traps they make might well be superb and they might be the best traps ever, but you don't want to get to that situation where you've got a lot of hornets to trap because by that time that nest is already huge and it's already pillaging lots of your bees. So treat them before, you know. When you start to see numbers increase and you see a presence of one or two in an apiary permanently, then you can come in and treat them and then you know you're going to get on top of them. It's just a logical way.